Here's a Space Age gift for kids from Radio Shack. The original Space Patrol walkie-talkie. You get two for just $14.95 a pair, and they really work. They're crystal controlled and battery operated, just like Dad's bigger CB units. A few weeks ago, I was busy testing one of these OliWiz little handheld radios on the PMR band, and I noticed that there was quite a bit of local chatter around my QTH. And also, I'm only probably less than two kilometers from uh, Dave, my mate as well. So I thought it'd be quite nice if I could have a little listen and maybe talk to Dave on uh, PMR. But for, to do that, I'm gonna need an outside antenna. Now, I didn't wanna put up a massive fiberglass antenna. I really didn't wanna spend too much. So whilst on eBay, I noticed these little PMR-based sort of TLT extreme antennas, very much like the larger sort of version you get for the sort of CB. So I thought I'd get one of these in and uh, give it a go. And here it is. I'll leave a link to this in the description. And uh, yeah, straight out of the packet, I'm actually quite pleased with the construction. This is probably something better than I could uh, make myself. Seems to be very well put together, very well sort of insulated with a proper connection right on the uh, bottom. So yeah, no worries there. Because this sort of packs away into practically nothing, this would be quite a nice antenna. That maybe if you go out and you want to get onto a sort of PMR net or something, you want to sort of chuck in your bag when you sort of go on your holidays. It'll certainly increase the range of your normal sort of rubber ducky sort of type antenna so here's the details just here and as i say i'll link this one into the uh, description right so to sort of mount this you need a kind of non-conductive pole now i haven't really got anything knocking about so i thought i'd use the uh the old top section of my antron 99 even though it's got a conductive element inside the outside is just sort of fiberglass so i thought i'd be able to just stick that up above the shed and uh, that should sort of help me get a decent sort of uh, coverage so of course typical thread in the shed i didn't want to sort of buy anything in i was just using up a few poles and brackets that i had left over from other projects and this gooseneck pole was absolutely ideal it's my original pole when i first got back on cb so yeah decided to put it up and uh, shove it on the shed there it is um i'm not sure if it's going to stay there might just be a uh, little bit of a temporary temporary setup at the moment just got it uh, bolted to the side of the shed just to get an idea Right, so I've got a little go box in the shed. I just about fitted it in. Do you know, look, I look at this thing now, and I don't know why I built it, to be honest. I know I had, I had an idea of running a CB radio through a uh, antenna tuner and an SW. I, I don't know really why. <laughs> I don't know why I built it. But anyway, um, I've got this little uh, 898 unit in the top here, and it's got a radio on it. I forgot that. It's got the broadcast band in it, so we could have some tunes in the shack. Oh, let me sleep. <laughs> it doesn't sound bad, does it? It's not really meant to be a uh, sort of uh, a radio component in a hi-fi, but it's like a little boombox. <laughs> So we got tunes in, we got tunes in front of the shed, yeah! Anyway, all this mucking about. So we're going <laughs> to test this on the uh, on the PMR band and uh, make sure that little extreme antenna is working. Just stay with me. Right, okay, Dave, um, I think I've got that sussed out. So, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, how's that sounding to you, Dave, over? Okay, well, as I say, I'm on the uh, the 898, the VV898, using the uh, little uh, extreme antenna up on top of the shed. I'm, I'm going to uh, raise it up a little bit because it's on its lowest setting. I'll see if that makes any difference, Rog. Right, so just going to raise it up a little bit because it's on its lowest setting now. Now I've got it working. Right, okay, running now. Yeah, okay, so it's working quite well. Um, that's on the, uh, the full 10 watts. What I shall do is I'm going to switch it down uh, to low power which is uh, four, just, just four watts, and then we'll see what difference that makes. So my next transmission of this one, Dave, uh, will be just be on the four watts, Raj. Yep, that way. Right, so we're just gonna go down to low power there. It should be. Oh, it's still, there we go. 
Right, okay Dave, uh, you got a copy on me now on the 1664, just on the uh, the 4 watts now, Rog. Yeah, no, it's um, uh, back of the box type stuff, yeah, right in the back of the box. Okay, yeah, Roger that there. Roger that, yeah, Roger that in the back of the box, got you there, but uh, okay, still making it, still making it on 4 watts with the uh, LED Extreme uh, outdoor antenna there. Okay, Dave, going to go back to uh, the full chat. Right, okay, Dave, uh, back on the, uh, the 10 watts there. Yeah, so it does show you. It just about struggles on the uh, sort of 4 watts there, doesn't it? It doesn't quite uh, make it, but sounding good on the 10 watts, though. Yeah, roger that, coming through loud and clear, mate, loud and clear. Okay, Dave, well, thanks for that. I think that, that proves that the antenna works anyway. Um, you know, probably, I uh, could probably get it a little bit higher still. Um, but uh, certainly not a bad little antenna. It's only uh, 20 pounds, 20 pounds there from eBay. So uh, if I can get out to you, you know, that's right across town, really. Lots of uh, houses, uh, like sort of a, a motorway, a roundabout thing. So it's probably about as good as I can ask. But uh, all right, Dave. Uh, yeah, thanks for your help on this one, mate. Uh, no, I'm all the way. I'm all the way, Jim. And I think, um, yeah, no, it just it, it works. It's clear as a bell. Yeah, it absolutely it seems to. It. You give me about an S. Well, I suppose what is about an S3 signal? I suppose on this meter, I think just coming up to maybe the uh, sort of S1 point. Okay, Dave. I'm going to sign this one off. This will be on a video. And uh, yeah, cheers. Thanks for so, your help. You know, pretty pleased with that. Um, it shows that the antenna's working. We shot that down to just four watts, and then Dave was really, really struggling. Went out with the uh, Oliwiz there, which is uh, just on the on the five watts, and Dave couldn't really get me at all, and that's what you'd expect. So, yeah, you know, overall, um, I think it's a I think it's a thumbs up for that antenna. I, I think it's working. Uh, it's working really, really well. Um, you know, if you can get it sort and get it up high, I mean, bearing in mind I'm only just on the, above the uh, shed roof. And um, if you get it, look perhaps a little bit, uh, a little bit higher still. And uh, yeah, you know, working absolutely fine. So, uh, right, cheers for that. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Just a sort of short muckabout video, really. And uh, of course, stay safe. And I'll catch you all on the next one.